Hi everybody, my name is Lisa, in case you've never been to my channel. I just tried to make this video and it literally just like shut off. And it's not even in my computer, okay? So, um, Queen of Cups. Stay open. I'm hearing stay open. Stay open. Um, the next step in your journey requires a, a huge, a tremendously huge leap of faith, okay? Like they just showed me somebody jumping off um, a cliff. It's like, and just trusting that what you want is on the other side of it. It's like a complete free fall. Oh my God. Yeah, some of you have to make a choice. You see how this other cup is over here and she's dumping it out and she's like, oh, this is the cup I choose. I'm hearing game, set, match. This person is not playing around, all right? This person, uh, this is the Queen of Cups. I mean, she can be emotional, but this the Queen of Cups is like psychic. She's on point. She's like... She's nurturing, but this, this queen of cups is ready to battle. This queen of cups has made a choice. She's like, try me now because she's made up her mind. She knows exactly what she wants now because I feel like this queen of cups has been like totally in her head, um, extremely emotional about the decision she's had to make. And it's almost like it was like a choice between reliving the past or free falling. Like, I, like they showed me before, like somebody actually falling off of a cliff, you know, and just trusting that what she wants is on the other side of it. This woman chose her heart. In the first video that I was making, it was like this woman, um, it, it came across like as a same sex relationship. So um, you may or may not be in a same sex relationship, but um, that's the energy that I was getting most strong was the same sex relationship is like somebody had to make a logical choice over a heart decision. Okay. And it was very difficult. Like in the first video, uh, video it made me cry. But um, yeah, and then there was this other person, like that was like in this nine of swords energy, and and um, this could be this could be that energy. Let's see, because I feel like this person. Let's see, tell me about this Queen of Cups. Yeah, see? And Five of Pentacles. It's like this this Queen of Cups has made a decision to end, end this feeling, okay? Because the Queen of Cups is like, can be like super emotional and like totally in their feelings and like feeling, like, look at this. It's like um, torn. Um, this is also something about feeling neglected and... Somebody's worried about their children and being um, abandoning their children. And I feel like there's people like coming out after this person, like from all angles, you know, the heck. But this queen of cups has, has decided Look, I feel like somebody's just been trying to beat this Queen of Cups down, okay? You may have been receiving, like, I mean, look at all these people. It's like all these people are around, like, literally coming at the, like, 
who's down there on the ground? It was this freaking Queen of Cups because while she was indecis indecisive and confused and and allowing herself to like kind of feel sorry for herself a bit, she was not in her full power, not in her full grace and power. And she was allowing herself to be um, abused is what I heard. But it's like, doesn't, I'm not, it's like, I feel in her head, you know, these, these people just represent different things. And it could have even been over like the last five years of your life. Okay. Cause there's five people here. Just one thing after another, swinging at you, swinging at you, swinging at you. And it's like, somebody put on their big girl panties and was like, oh yeah, you know what? I'm here to fucking fight for my life. And just look, you see, she's like, look at the, her face. She's like, I'm dumping this cup. I choose to cup. And you know what? The other day I was driving and I saw this um, sign on a on a bus it said you choose because and here it is she chose she's like this is the cup i want okay try me <laughs> come at me bro it's like that um that meme and i always see that meme it's like the the little teeny tiny turtle and he's like facing i don't know what it is he's facing but they just draw it like he's this little teeny tiny turtle up against like the world and he's like come at me bro you know she is no longer afraid whoever this queen of cups is and she's choosing to stay open she's choosing to keep her heart open like it's like she's still willing to fight for what her heart wants even though it's been like kicked on, stomped on, spit on, slashed, like, she doesn't care. It's better than, yeah, see, she's been healing, okay, but this is the, this is what she's decided. She's had to recuperate. She may have even laid down and allowed these, you know, to make it easier for some of these people to freaking step on her. But this queen ain't playing no more, okay? She almost looks like the Justice card, you know? Like the Lady Justice, Lady Liberty, you know? Um, Statue of Liberty. She's going to get hers. What she deserves. There's this four of cups, and somebody is not happy about it. I feel like there's lots of people around her that aren't happy about it. Okay. In the other reading, there was like this, um, energy of like someone kind of lingering around watching and, um, Somebody's definitely watching this Queen of Cups. So look, look at these two look like they're having a face off, right? Mm. This is very, very interesting. And look, This kind of reminds me of that reading I just did yesterday, too. Um, here's these three cups on the table. But no, that's the big cup. I'm hearing, can you meet me halfway? These are two people having a face-off. See, there's this tower moment. And it's... Like somebody's watching it. I feel like somebody's watching to see what really comes of it. To see if it's it's gonna bring it down. Okay, but look, this 
look at how solid this tower, this tower isn't coming down. It, it may have like made some like dings in the wall and stuff like that and set a couple rooms on fire, but it's like, look at how solid this is. Look at this. Three cups, three swords. It's like healing after heartache. Oh, it's all of them. The three of pentacles as well. Rebuilding in the wands. They're all here. Three of wands. Like people are waiting for this healing, for this revival. I'm hearing this revival. Because this tower can... It's like somebody's watching somebody from a distance, okay? There is a rekindling here. There is um, truth being spoken. There is, and here's the sunflower. The sunflower came through in the last reading I started. Remember I told you that the thing shut down. The queen of wands in this deck is actually sitting on a horse with the sunflower. So it, the sunflowers are all about new beginnings, The sun and the ten of cups. This is clarity coming in that brings emotional fulfillment, satisfaction. I mean, look at how big the sun is behind these two people. Okay, and then it's here as well. But it's almost like two different couples. I wanted to say at first that this is them when they're younger and then they get older, but they, they, they have like different colored hair and let's see, what, what is this sun and ten of cups about? I mean, that's some happiness right there, that's for sure. And then I have the hair front. I feel like this is... Um, I'm really getting like a strong sense of like somebody that I don't know this 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 person looks a little like you see this woman she looks very untrusting to be sitting in this ten of cups she doesn't look happy he he doesn't he and the guy looks remorseful Maybe this guy spent like all this time with the wrong person. Maybe you're going to be reuniting with somebody from your youth that like they could have possibly married somebody else. This person could have really fucking hurt you. This person could have been like out in the spotlight with somebody else, okay, having a good old time in their youth. And now they're like older and wiser. And the other person's gone and they're coming back to reconcile with you to let you know that you are their Ten of Cups. 
That's why she looks like, well, it could be like, that's why she's not looking at him. She's letting him hold her hands, you know, because they do have history together. But can she trust this man? That is the question. Whew. This is Ten of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see? This person, it could have taken this person ten fucking years to realize <laughs> that you were who they wanted. I don't know. But this is this Two of Cups coming together. Somebody is like, there. yeah, look. And then the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming to make amends with you, to make up with you. It's probably somebody from your past, possibly even somebody that you dated or loved that ended up like, <sighs> yeah, see, like I'm seeing this person, like maybe this person like left you for somebody who was like more, um, I don't know, I was really drawn to like her boobs, like she had big boobs or, you know, and then she has, this This girl has like big blonde hair. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's like, you know, she's totally different than this girl, okay? But there's a new beginning here and there's a soulmate with a soulmate. We got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And this could like literally shock the shit out of you when this person comes back because you probably never expected to see this person again. And it doesn't even have to be somebody from your youth. I'm just like, cause this is like, A general reading so it's like you know look if somebody's been healing and resting and like over being in their head and ready to take a leap of faith and offer you something yeah look here's the queen of wands I told you in that other reading she came out and and what I got for her was this woman made a head over heart decision to leave and the Ace of Pentacles came out in that reading as well, because how I saw it was, where is it? Where is it? Look, you see that sky? Like her, she's about ready to like kick, like whatever, put their heels into the horse and then they're going to turn the other direction. But she's taking one last look behind her. Okay. But she's heading out to get her Ace of Pentacles because that's what she wants. She wants a new beginning. She deserves a new start. Like, and that's what this same Queen of Cups, this is what this Queen of Cups is choosing, okay? She's choosing the, to keep her heart open, to believe in a dream, to feel deserving, to no longer live like this, where she lets people walk all over her. And it's bringing in this offer, and this, this person... You know, I'm saying it's somebody from your past, but it could be um, just like a past life, you know, and you're going to feel like you know him when you meet him, you know, but this, this, um, this guy, whoever he is, he's showing up for real. And for some of you, this is somebody that you have definitely had a relationship with in the past, but they really, this is why they're showing up with flowers, Okay. I feel like they've been watching you. 
waiting. I feel like they've been in heartache being without you. Because you know, I'm hearing it's now or never. They're, they're really drawing me to these like sand, see the sand thing. And then there's, I never noticed that before, but there's a clock down there. It's like this person knows like time is running out. They have to, um, it's time to say what they need to say. But this Queen of Cups is like, you know, see, there's, Wow, and then we got the world card and the magician. Wow, and the emperor. Wow. And the two flames here around the magician. I feel like there's two people creating here and they're creating together. Look, this two cups, see these people? They're creating together. I'm hearing it's time to finish what they've started. So the, again, it's it's reminding me is like something from your youth. Like it's like it's the yin and the yang. It's like this. There's. I'm hearing, and I'm reminded of this um, reading. I don't even remember which one it was because, like, how her readings work is like when you see them, like you're just meant to see them. Like she does, she works on like total divine time. And um, but her name is uh, Starseed Energetics. And whenever I, I, I mean, I do follow her, but like I don't, I don't watch her readings like like that. Like when she puts them out or whatever. I, it's like whenever they show up in my feed. I watch them, but I remember one day, because I know that I need it, and they are always like exactly what I need. But anyway, when I saw this world card, it's like I was reminded of this reading that she did talking about how something, like something about time, like time doesn't really um, exist, okay? And it's like we have all these components that tell us what time it is, all right? Like clocks and calendars and minutes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But really, that's not how it works at all. I feel like whatever these two are creating, it's like, Yeah, see, again, here they are. As children, this could even represent your 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 yeah, like your your past lives. This could even be <gasps> whoa, this is getting deep, you guys. All right. It's like look. Oh my god, this makes me want to cry. And this is like super super deep, okay? This is not for everybody, <laughs> obviously, but here they are. It's like ever since you were created, you've been being <laughs> trained or because he's the hair fine and look at them. They're, they're, it's like they're in school. They're, they're learning and here's their keys. They each have, they each hold a key. 
But when they're together, it's like something that's like magical. And then they, they grow up and they're, and they're, and they're still together. Oh my God, this is so sad. And they keep creating and they create this together. Like this is what, what they bring about together. And then they get a little older, but notice that the woman's changed. Okay, so where did she go? So there was one life where somebody left, okay? The connection. And although it was like, but see, here's the dog. That That's the girl. That's this other girl. That's why the dog's looking at him like this. Like, what are you doing? Oh my God. And then here he is. He shows back up in this life. That's why she looks like this. She's gotten older. Oh my God. <laughs> This is what I mean by this person, maybe just from your past life, that you're just going to feel something towards, and you may be reluctant to even meet them or to, but the thing is, is that you've been connected for many lives. You've been creating and learning things through many different lifetimes. And the mistrust comes from, I guess there was like a lifetime where you didn't choose each other or somebody didn't choose the other one. And that's why this, this lifetime you're, you're clearing that you're clearing that to be together. And so somebody is learning to trust and somebody's learning to let go of their ego or let go of like, I don't know. This just got super deep, man. Let's just get a, a romance card. Cause this, this, whoa, give your relationship a chance. You might have to go away together or you may have to, this is work on your partnership. This man, whoever he is, when he comes back, he, he is different. He is this king of pentacles. Let's see. You may have to like withdraw from the world for a little while and get reacquainted with each other, you know, without the chaos of the outside world, whoever, because I do feel like there's people around, you know, that don't want this to happen because you guys have been created. I feel like creating, I mean, for you've been being prepared. I mean, this is. I can't even, this is so wild. Let me see. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? For this romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, somebody's coming to express their love. Man. That one got me. I love you guys. Enjoy that one. That was... I don't know. It's just beautiful speech. I'm speechless. I start hearing that song, Speechless. Man and Shay. Oh my God. So stay open, whoever you are, and hear this guy out. Because I feel like whoever he or she is, they, they choose you. Okay. Bye. <laughs>